Hey everybody, this is Ash Pearson from the band Revocation and I'm here at Drumeo headquarters today to show you some iconic heavy metal drum beats. So let's get into it. Okay, so this first groove is an, Afri an African groove called a bembe beat. So it's an alternating six note pattern. It sounds like this. Like every right hand, you'll hit the right foot, which would sound like this. So believe it or not, this beat has actually been used a lot in metal over the years. Uh, bands like Opeth use, use it uh, an awful lot and it just sounds really, really cool. Uh, Death has used this beat many times. Uh, Chris Penny from the Dillinger Escape Plan, Damon Che from Don Caballero, the list goes on. It's a really, really cool beat and uh, I definitely encourage you to, to try and put that in your arsenal and use it for your own stuff. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this at 120 and 180 beats a minute. All right, so this next beat, number two, is one by Metallica in the, in the middle bit, in the middle section in that song. That, uh, that's like a rite of passage for a lot of double bass players. I know it was for me back in the day. So it's 16th note triplets, and I'll just play it loosely for you here right now. And then you can move Take that idea and move it around the kit too. So on and so forth. Just mix it around, try a few different things. So we're gonna try that to a click now too. All right, so this next beat is basically a grind beat, what I call a grind beat. So uh, essentially, it's just a single stroke roll between your right foot and your left hand, and your right, ha your, your right hand is playing with the right foot. So right foot, left hand, like this. Like that. Every foot, you play the right hand, so. So this beat isn't not isn't necessarily very complicated. It's just the speed that really kills you. So bands like Pig Destroyer, Napalm Death, Brutal Truth, um, Carcass all kind of brought this into popularity. I'm sure I'm missing. Uh, there's there's plenty of different bands who have used this, but but I mean not for nothing. But I've seen jazz drummers use this way way before it was ever introduced into metal. I mean I've seen like Louis Belson do something like this in an old old video from the 30s. So you know. You gotta give credit when credit's due, you know? They did it long before us metal guys ever did, so. Okay, so we're gonna try this at a couple different tempos. We're gonna do 140 beats a minute and 200 beats a minute. All right, so. Our fourth example is a thrash beat, otherwise known as a polka beat, because you go polka, 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 polka. I mean, really, that's kind of where it started, so eh, you gotta give credit when credit's due. So, thrash beat, made popular by so many different bands. Thrash bands, Dark Angel, Megadeth, Death, Slayer, of course, Metallica, of course, all these wicked bands. You just have to know this beat, it's a very iconic beat. So 
a uh, million different things you can do with it. So let's, let's play it at a couple different tempos here. So this last example is a hammer blast. Uh, well, it's I think it's more of a bomb blast actually. So hammer blast in that your hands are playing together. And bomb blast in that your kicks are doing 16th notes underneath it. All right. So you have to know this beat if you're gonna play some death metal. This is a very, very iconic beat made popular by many bands, but a uh, couple off the top of my head, Morbid Angel and Cannibal Corpse. Definitely Cannibal Corpse has used this beat an awful lot. So I'm gonna play it at a couple different tempos for you. I'm gonna do it at 160 and 190. All right, so these are five iconic heavy metal beats that you just need to know if you're gonna play some heavy metal. So, do some listening. Uh, Slayer, Megadeth, Metallica, Cannibal Corpse, Morbid Angel, Death, all these great bands. Uh, do a lot of listening, cop some of these beats for yourself, and uh, whip them out, show your friends, and uh, have fun. <laughs>